Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. My name is Bushido Morrow and today I'm going to give you my first impressions about the shooter looter game, The First Descendant. Came out a couple of days ago and I checked it out. I will show you some footage of me uh, with my first impressions about the game. The big question of this video and in general is, is this the new Destiny 2 killer or even Warframe killer? That's the big question. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? What is your opinion? Is this game worth your time? Are you hyped about this game? Will you play it on a daily basis? Stick to the end of the video to find out my opinion and my first impression about the game. If you do enjoy my contents, I would really appreciate your support by liking this video or maybe even subscribing. His dark ambitions are driving both worlds to the brink of collapse. We must fight back. And we will. After the ancestors power I finish off my espresso. There will be some pew pew pew. The lecture descendant? Visa, Visa, Lepic, or Ajax. Don't you can play others. Defense is my forte. Alright, this guy has a shield. Void walk. Jumps forward and deals damage upon landing, inflicting stun. Deals damage on nearby enemies and inflicts knockback. Create a dome-shaped barrier that blocks. Okay, so he's basically the tank of, of the party. Let's check out her. Seems like my kind of job. Wouldn't it be easier if I just froze everything? Okay, she freezes stuff. Kill. Fires frost shards. Deal damage to hit enemies. And burst damage to nearby enemies. Inflicts ice shackle on hit enemies. Frost road. Activates the frost road state while in the frost road state creates ice sheets uh, on the ground touched. Enemies that touch the ice sheets are afflicted with ice shackle. Cold snap. Launches chill towards the front. Inflicts damage and ice shackle on enemies that uh, come into contact with chill. Creates a blizzard. At the designed location, enemies within the blizzards take continuous damage when the blizzard ends. It explodes and deals burst damage to nearby enemies. Inflicts ice shackle on hit enemies. <clears throat> Alright, and passive ice sphere upon using a skill to put an enemy into an ice shackle stage creates an ice sphere that flies around nearby. The ice sphere that is created flies at the nearby enemy, dealing damage to the uh, to the hit enemy and burst damage to nearby enemies. The hit enemy is inflicted with ice shackle. Decreases the speed and increases the stage when the Okay, and what about this guy? I'll go. I just need to blow up everybody except Bunny, and right? Grenades. And he has some fire. Alright, gains overclock, inflicts burn on enemies, damage by grenade throw or overkill. Burn deals continuous damage for a certain period of time. Traction grenade. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Throws attraction grenade forward to inflict halt on enemies within range. Overkill. Bam, this, this looks pretty cool. Equips a unique weapon with the unique weapon is equipped. MP is continuously consumed when uh, MP runs out. The weapon is unequipped. Enemies hit by unique weapon bullets take burst damage. Uh, the impact points of the unique weapons create a damage stone dealing continuous damage. And the passive, upon receiving fatal damage, gain close call. While close call is active, grants damage immunity and immobilization. Um, when close call ends, recovers HP propor proportional to own max HP. He has a 
like a that's actually pretty cool need to blow up everybody except bunny right he's pretty cool let's let's select lepic although i like the other two as well wait for me <laughs> there's no iron heart on that side either and this is the only place left let's get this over with the architect ruins. It took so many soldiers to find this place. Please let the Iron Heart be in here somewhere. I hope it's here too, Bunny. I'd like to give Albion some good news. Finding the Iron Heart is important, but so is retrieving it. The Volkas also have their sights set on these ruins. Eh, don't worry about that, Alpha. Compared to me, the Volkas are as slow as turtles. <laughs> I'll blow up anyone who comes for you, Bunny. Good to know you have my back. So, do you know what the heart looks like? Sounds good. And she's quick. Whoa! What the heck? What's going on? All operatives report. <sighs> we almost died. I'm okay, by the way. Roger that. Resume operation. I like the Our UI. The UI like looks pretty cool. The fact that you have your HP here, like in uh, what is it Be called? Be careful, buddy. Um, Something's not right. Damn it! It's the Vulgus. What? I'll come help. No need. I'll take him out, then join you. It feels smooth. It feels smooth. wall with this, right? And when we have all three of them, we can stop the Colossi and the Volgus? How awesome is that? Some Colossus body parts can be removed. Okay. Pressing the tab button to use this place, a scythe displays, a destructible part, and a destructible part. Want a piece of me? Alpha, 
The Ironheart was stolen. The operation failed. So we can put some modules on. Roof. What is that? Always can be equipped to capacity. If you have difficult uh, difficulty uh, deciding on which models to equip, try to use the recommended one. It's done. The communications repeater has been restarted. Now, let's hope the last emergency communicator is still intact. have also weapon proficiencies <clears throat> man this this looks actually pretty cool so far i would say also does not contain the ancestors data. However, descendant, our sense of the transmission of the ancestors data is happening close by. That is most likely where the enemy command center is located. As the enemy sealed off Kingston's network, transmitting data over a long distance would have been impossible. This means we still have an opportunity to retrieve the ancestors data. <laughs> Do, do, do. 
stuff rank up available I still don't understand how I'm supposed to rank up um, probably there is a rank up mission somewhere uh, but anyways I think uh, my first very first 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 impressions of the game it looks fun something new in the shooter looter category I'm, I'm pretty sure that destiny 2 players Warframe players are gonna try out the game. Um, I will be playing this a little bit more. I will definitely play it to the point where I have a more, you know, better understanding of the game and how it performs. What is the end game like? Is it too grindy? Is it fun? Um, and stuff like that. My very first impressions, I would say the game is for, for the very first, let's say, hour of me playing the game doing the tutorial and finishing up a few missions here um i would give it a solid 7 out of 10 for the time being um is it the, the destiny 2 killer is it the warframe killer warframe i don't think so warframe i believe that is a game that um has been around for a very long time and if they improved the game like over the years and it's very well polished and it has a stable fan base and community however destiny 2 is a different topic destiny 2 is a game that i've been i, I played his previously i've never made the game because it never gave me this vibe of hey i want to say this is my main game and i will be playing it a lot however this might be a game that uh, destiny 2 players will consider uh, adding into their library and playing right now a little bit more because it's a fresh thing like destiny 2 had an expansion very recently right but still it didn't it didn't get a lot of people to go to get back to the game I think that this game might be potential to Destiny 2 killer. Warframe? Question mark. But Destiny 2 could be. So let me know in the comments below. Do you think that this is a Destiny 2 killer? Maybe even your opinion. This versus Warframe. Um, the first Descendant looks like an interesting and fun game for the time being. I will definitely will be playing a, a little bit more and I might upload a couple more videos about the game. Um, thanks for watching and happy hunting. Or should I say happy descending? Pew pew. See you in the next one.